how you do anything is how you do everything. But maybe it's not giving the least and taking the most. Maybe it's giving the most and taking the least. You can be that person that's helping everyone around you. And we're back with another daily reflection on the daily Vedantic. Today's reflection is on a topic that, especially in Silicon Valley, it's a lot of being spilled on this topic of efficiency, productivity. In many ways, efficiency, my approach to efficiency in the first decade of my career was around how can I get the most and give the least? As few units in to get as many units back out. There's a little input for maximal outcome or output. The role of efficiency in the spiritual path, in the philosophical path within Vedanta, this is something that I'd never really heard in a philosophical or spiritual context. Growing up or even in other Eastern philosophies that I studied in my 20s, I'd never heard something as explicit outlined as clearly as the concept of daksha within Vedanta. This is one of the qualities of a spiritual being within Vedanta. And it's really interesting, right? Efficiency, uh, smart action. Daksha could be translated as dexterous, good with your hands, handy. It's all of these things because there's no direct English translation for it. But it is really interesting to think about why would being being handy, dexterous, smart, efficient in action, be a spiritual quality. Well, it makes us more useful to ourselves and to those around us. For the spiritual being within this philosophy, everything they do is daksha, dakshaha, is efficient, smart. Swami, even at 97 people go to his his bungalow at the the ashram his little uh small little cottage house if you go through it everything is so clean and he wants you to see how clean not only that but everything about the ashram the ashram is not uh it's no luxury resort it's maybe like a three-star hotel certainly not crazy austere and uh crumbling. It's well done, super well done. But it is it is like you'd think of a monastery. Everything has its purpose. There is no there are no facades. Uh, there is no elegant extras, unnecessaries for some conspicuous reason, for some luxurious reason. Just everything that you need. And I'll say three star because it's quite comfortable as well. And the meals, the food is insane. So good. Everything is well done. Not overly done. Well done. And one thing it is, maybe more than anything else, is so clean. How it's set up is also so smart. The lecture halls don't have any beams in the middle. And apparently it was two, three, four X is as expensive as a regular lecture hall because Swami didn't want any beams to get in the way of people's view. Like I said, his, his little cottage is really clean, but also even his closet. You open it up and it's just really well done. Everything is so neatly folded. The t-shirts he owns are really nice t-shirts. They're not exorbitantly nice, but they're not cheap. There's nothing cheap about, that's a, maybe a good way of describing, there's nothing cheap about anything that he does, and there should be nothing cheap about anything a spiritual being does. This concept of Daksha, I think about it quite often where it is similar to the phrase, Within business, you'll hear this phrase quite often of how you do anything is how you do everything. Cut corners and 
have a bunch of typos in an email? Well, I bet the spreadsheets, the financials of that company will have some mistakes in it as well. Cut corners in your workout. You're probably the type of person that would cut corners in business or in whatever role or responsibility you have outside the gym. With efficiency, I was at the ashram. I just had a meal with Swami and a few other students and I was leaving and and I was telling, you know, in Silicon Valley, we typically think about efficiency as giving the least and getting the most. And I was saying it's actually quite toxic for me to orient my life around giving the least and, and taking the most. And, and by virtue saying that it was uh, quite toxic to orient my life around efficiency. And as I was leaving, Suka, one of the senior students, said, maybe it actually is quite virtuous to orient your life around efficiency. Daksha, after all, is efficiency or dexterity or handiness. Um, but maybe it's not giving the least and taking the most. Maybe it's giving the most and taking the least. Maybe that's the proper orientation around efficiency. Giving the most and taking the least. As if you decide, I'm going to be as little of a bother on the universe as possible. It's a little of a bother on my community, my family. We all have those friends where they're just in a constant crisis. Every time you chat with them, they're in some doom loop of crisis and you're just talking to them about their problems, trying to get them out of the, out of the psychological gutter, trying to get them back on their feet, back on their feet, back on their feet, year after year, sometimes decades after decades. And the friendship on year 20, you're kind of like, man, this is a drain every time I'm with this person. It is about getting them back on their feet. Instead of the person that you can think of, we all have those friends where every time you go to them, they can be helpful to you. You look for ways, how can I help them back? Because damn, they are so self-sufficient. I don't ever need to help them. They're always able to help me. And when we're able to cultivate this reorientation around efficiency, you can be that person that's helping everyone around you because you have cultivated such self-sufficiency that you're able to give the most and take the least with each interaction, with each relationship. That is certainly an ideal and extreme. That is not where I'm at. I need the help from people often. But what an ideal to have to be that person in your community where no matter who it is or what scenario is playing out, no matter what potential catastrophe, whatever dynamic scenario is playing out, you can be most helpful. You have created space in your life to where you always have much to give, to offer. Instead of coming from a place of, there's much I need to take and little I can give. That is today's reflection on the daily Vedantic. We'll see you next time.